Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my last late Easter tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute cream egg brownies. These brownie charms actually look really complicated but I promise you they're very simple so I'm just going to get on with the tutorial now. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this tutorial is to make some cream egg shells. These are so simple I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to make the shells just take some brown clay and roll it into an egg shape. This doesn't have to be perfect as if you think about it it's going to be melted on the brownie anyway so it's not meant to look perfect. So to get that hollow inside I'm just taking a ball tool and I'm hollowing it out. It doesn't matter that the back of it is flat as it's going to be pushed into our brownie anyway so no one is going to notice. So once you finish your eggshell it should look something like this. Now what you want to do is just bake it from 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure it's hardened. You don't have to bake it for the full amount of time as we will be rebaking it. So once you've finished making the shells it's now time to make the brownie. So the first step in making the brownie is just to roll out a thick sheet of dark brown clay. So I'm just using my ball tool to roll this out which isn't the most precise way of doing it but if you have a pasta machine feel free to use that. So once you've rolled out your dark brown clay, you then want to repeat that step on light brown clay but make this sheet much thinner than the dark brown one. So next just take that light brown sheet of clay that we just rolled out and place it on top of the dark brown clay. I just roll it gently just to make sure that they're properly connected and then there are no air bubbles. So the next step is just to take one of your eggshells and place that on top of the brownie and press it down firmly. I'm using a dark brown colour of the eggshell so it contrasts with the light brown but this is personal preference and you can use whatever colours you want. So now taking a blade or an exacto knife you just want to cut out the shape of the brownie. So you can make this whatever shape you want, here I'm going for a very small more realistic version but again you can make it whatever shape you want, you could even do a heart if you wanted to. So once you've cut out your brownie to the shape that you want, it's now time to texture it. So what you're going to need to texture it is a piece of sandpaper and a needle tool. So what you want to do is press the brownie firmly onto the sandpaper which will create a really nice texture on the bottom. It'll also create a nice anchor when we're trying to texture the sides. It's quite hard to show you how to do this so sorry about the change of angle. But to create that really nice cake like texture, just take your needle tool and very gently do swirling motions in the clay. So you're just aiming to make very very tiny circles on the dark brown clay, so don't do any texture on the light brown clay. So you just want to repeat that texture on all of the sides of the brownie. I've just sped this up so you can see the process. It's very satisfying seeing it sped up, but this might take a bit of time, so please be patient. It is so worth it, I love this texture. So once you've textured the sides of the brownie, it's now time to texture the top. So I'm just taking some foil and scrumpling it up so you get a really uneven texture and then all you want to do is just press that onto the light brown clay. So when brownies cook, they go a lighter colour on the top and they kind of crack and crumble which foil replicates really well. So this is actually optional but if you'd like to add a little bit more texture, I'm just taking my needle tool and I'm adding those cracks that I just mentioned. So I'm just making very shallow, uneven cuts throughout the top of the light brown clay just to make it look like it's cracked. So once you're happy with all of the texture, it's now time to add the inside of the egg. So to create this polymer clay icing, all you need to do is follow the tutorial that is popped up on the screen right now. That tutorial shows you how to make quite thick icing, so here for this project just add a little bit more liquid clay as it needs to be a thinner consistency. So once you've filled the egg with that white colour, it's now time to add the yolk, so just take some orange icing and gently place that in the egg as well. So once you've baked your charm, it should look something like this. So as you can see on the screen right now, I've done a bunch of variations. So I've done a more kawaii version where the colours have been switched and I added less texture. But you can also do a more realistic version and also add a face to that. There are so many variations you can try and I'd love to see yours if you try this out. If you do try it out, don't forget to share it on Instagram with me using the hashtag XWorksRufus and I may repost your picture. 
So I've made a bunch of cream egg themed pieces recently and I uploaded a tutorial yesterday on how to make a miniature cream egg and then also how to use those techniques to make a really awesome cupcake design as you can see here. So if you want to see that video you can click on the screen right now and don't forget to check out all of my social media and my shop. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!